Hello, everyone. This is criminal profiler Pat Brown. And I want to discuss whether the story going around the internet and all over major media now, unfortunately, uh, whether a woman in Poland who says she believes she is Madeleine McCann, whether this story has any merit. I have been contacted by television. I've been asked to do interviews on this and I've refused them all because I don't consider this news because uh, there is zero proof that the woman in Poland who claims she is Madeleine McCann is Madeleine McCann. And I think it is wrong of the news media to push this story, but they love it because it's getting views. It's getting, <laughs> it's, it's what media always does. But I would like to come here now and just knock this nonsense down. Um, I was also contacted by the Polish woman. And she, she asked for my help. And um, I will give you in a minute the reasons why it is extraordinarily unlikely she could possibly be Madeleine McCann. But first, I just want to tell you how certain people do these kind of things, go public and put out Instagram and tell the whole world, yes, I think I'm Madeleine McCann. I want DNA tests. P please listen to me. Why won't anybody listen to me? She's put up photos like this one of her that she claims looks like Madeleine McCann when she was a child. I won't put up the adult pictures of her because I do not want to give her that no, that notoriety. Um, but she put up lots of different pictures that uh, she's carefully selected pictures from her whole life where it, different angles she could look like Madeline, like Madeline or she could look like Madeline, age progressed. And she's put up some of her pictures against Kate McCann, Jerry McCann, to show, oh, look, my smile is the same. Look, I have whatever. <laughs> she keeps moving her head in different positions and finding that, at least those, those pictures she can then put against their pictures and make it look like she has similarities. Uh, but so, interestingly, someone put up a photo that they state is her mother. I do not know if it's true, but I'll tell you, that woman looked like the Polish woman. So this woman contacted me. And um, I've had quite a few women, mostly women, over the last two decades uh, in my profiling work who will contact me with certain stories. The stories are usually these. I've been stalked I'm, or I'm being stalked. I've been stalked for the last five years, 10 years. And they give me some crazy story about how someone is you know, getting into their home, is tailing them in a car, uh, doing all kinds of things to them. And I stop them immediately as they start into the story. And I say to them, do you have any proof? And they try to ignore that question. And they try to just ramble on with their story. And I say, stop. Do you have any proof? Video, photos, witnesses, recordings, audio recordings, anything. And the answer is always no. And that's how I know that they're seeking attention. And they're likely have a personality disorder, which exhibits itself in, a, in something called Munchausen's. This is ve very, especially um, a female thing. Uh, females with a personality disorder, a psych psychopathy, will seek attention by either claiming that they've been, that they're sick, so they can go to the doctor a lot, by even harming themselves so that then people do see that they're, if they're cut or they're bruised or they do all kinds of things to themselves to get that kind of attention. They'll claim they're raped when they haven't been raped. Uh, and they'll claim they've been stalked when they haven't been stalked. Um, they will also claim, uh, sometimes they'll say I was raised in a satanic cult and I was uh, ritually abused and they have no proof of that either. So it's a way to gain a whole lot of attention. And so when the Polish woman contacted me and started, and in her email, the story was there I, and ran, sort of rambling on, I said, I immediately emailed her back and I said, what proof do you have? And she sort of ignored that. And she went on with some more. I, you know, I don't remember my first five years of life. Uh, I just remember once when I was young, being someplace warm. Uh, and um, I was se sexually abused by some pedophile. And um, what else did she kind of throw in there? But I kept saying, do you have any proof? She said, and then she came back and said, no, I don't have, I don't, 
I don't, I've never seen a birth certificate, but she does apparently have a mother, a father, step siblings, and a grandmother. All of these people around her. And all these people, I guess, are in on whatever, how this all happened. Because she, if she's Madeleine McCann, she would have had to be kidnapped and put into that family. And she went to kindergarten and she's been to school and she's grown up around people. And she's got lots of pictures of herself at different points in her life. She's not very well hidden now, is she? <laughs> you know, if somebody actually abducted Madeleine McCann, they would be hiding her. They're not going to be parading her around in schools and all over the place. And as far as I can see in her photos, she didn't look disguised. Nobody changed the color of her hair, cut it really in weird uh, short, made her look like a boy. No, she just, according to her, somehow, if she's Madeline McCann, she was abducted, taken off someplace, and allowed... People are allowed to see her with, with the amount of publicity out looking for Madeleine McCann across the world, especially in Europe. <laughs> you really think an abductor would just walk around with her without disguising her, send her to school and all of that? It's absolutely outrageous. It's ridiculous. And um, apparently now since she's gone public, she's getting all these tons of the uh, people following her and saying, I hope you're Madeline and hope you get your DNA test and all of that. Supposedly someone just wrote that the McCanns are going to go, go ahead with the DNA. I guess they want to say, hey, we, we, we don't think she's dead. She, we, we, we don't know that she's dead. So, hey, this could be her. Um, now, she also writes now that, um, well, apparently her, her family's disowning her. Her grandmother's had, had enough. Her mother's had enough. Her boyfriend's had enough. So they all want to get rid of her. And she's crying, going, well, why are they all doing this to me? Well, maybe because they don't believe you, because they know who you are, because they've been around you for years, and they know you have some psychological problem, and you're playing a real sick game. Maybe they know something, you know? I'm pretty sure they do. So as it stands right now, <clears throat> I don't know the DNA test is going to go through, but it's, out, it's just ridiculous. And I don't think she should be given, I just don't think she should be given any kind of credibility at all. Um, let's, let's take another look at a couple other things. All right. So, so she's been paraded around for an entire life. She's apparently also not quite the right age, you know, because um, maybe she's two or three years too old to be Madeline McCann, but she says she can't find the birth certificate. So maybe they're all lying about her age. Uh, and then the other interesting thing is this. The Germans claim that Madeleine McCann was abducted by their, their pedophile guy and um, Christian Bruckner and, and that he killed her. They say they know he killed her. So according to the German police, Madeleine McCann is not alive. According to people like myself uh, who've studied the case, for years and wrote the book, uh, Profile of the Disappearance of Madeleine McCann, which you cannot find on Amazon because the McCanns made sure Amazon removed it. Um, I find all the evidence supports that she died in the apartment that night. And uh, there was no abduction, in which case she's not alive. So according to most people, She's not alive no matter where you, what you think. She's not alive. If she's not alive, she can't be the Polish woman now, can she? So we've got, she's 99.9% .9 chance she's not alive. So that's one strike against this silly story. Secondly, that the Polish woman was paraded around ever since she can remember um, in schools and, and, and in public. That's strike two. Strike three, apparently no one tried to disguise her. So... And do you think they would do that if she were actually Madeline McCann? And four, nobody in her family believes her. And they're all disowning her saying, you got, you got mental problems. I'm going to say, she's not Madeline McCann. And I wish all the media channels, the ones contacting me, asking me to be on to talk about this, would stop it. You know, she's not Madeline McCann. Stop making this news when there's no news. You know, every crackpot out there, every, every, uh, grifter out there that that comes up with some stupid story 
it should not be honored by the news channels. You all should know, but you should do your due diligence as a thing called journalism instead of just running with the story and asking people like me to come on and, oh, you know, what do you think, Pat? Do you think she's her or isn't? Do you think she's Madeline McCann or don't you think she's Madeline McCann? Stop it. It's not a news story. It's not. And it's, I, I'm very disappointed when I see this story spreading like a little wildfire. And I'm, I don't know whether she's going to get her DNA test or not. But by the time she does, she she's going to have her day, have her moment in the sun where everybody's paying attention to her and patting her on the shoulder, even through the Internet. Um and she can cry and people can feel sorry for her and uh, support her. I hope you find out, uh, you know, you could be Madeline, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Lord. It sometimes it just, <laughs> it's just frustrating when I see stuff like this go on. It's nonsense, folks. It's absolute nonsense. And I stand by that. I'm not going to play the game that she, she could be. She's not. Got it? She's not. Madeline McCann. All right, that's that's all I have to say about that. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe, please do like, and um, I hope this story dies really quick. I really do because mm, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't even be a story. <laughs> bye bye.